हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लास सो होप ऑल ऑफ यू नो हाउ टू राइट द डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला फॉर दैट फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एम एल पी बाय टेकिंग यूज ऑफ दीज टर्म्स सो आई सेड दैट सो इन क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स देर आर थ्री फंडामेंटल फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज सो व्हाट आर दोज मास लेंथ एंड टाइम सो होप यू नो हाउ टू राइट द डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला बाय टेकिंग यूज ऑफ एम एल एंड टी हियर सो नाउ लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस वन मोर टर्म इफ देयर इज exist any kind of the temperature term in any physical quantities how to write the dimensional formulas for that term temperature here so temperature we are going to be expressed in terms of degree celsius or kelvin so in order to write the dimensional formula for the temperature term we will use the term k here means kelvin we can consider here so let me give an example related to those physical quantities so so i can write that dimensional formula for that coefficient of linear expansion so what is that physical quantity coefficient of linear expansion so these term you will understand in that first view a second track so that coefficient of linear expansion alpha is equal to delta of l so it means change in length divided by original length into rise in temperature so in order to write the dimensional formula so delta l means length so i can take that l here and again in denominator also length term is there and here delta t means temperature if there exist any temperature term means so just you can write it as a k here in terms of kelvin i can take so alpha is equal to these two term will getting cancel out so there is no mass term there is no length term there is no time term here so m0 l0 t0 so in denominator k is there i will take it into the numerator here so k to the power of minus 1 so this is the way to write the dimensional formula if there exist any temperature term for example so i can write the dimensional formula for heat here so what is the dimensional formula for heat heat is nothing but a, it is a form of energy so heat is equal to what energy what do you mean by energy then energy is nothing but capacity to do work here so capacity to do work so look at here in order to write the dimensional formula for heat and for energy and for work and these three physical quantity will carry same dimensional formula is it so heat is nothing but it is a form of energy energy is nothing but capacity to do work for these three physical quantity will carry same dimensional formula work is nothing but what so work is equal to force into displacement so force is nothing but what m1 l1 t to the power of minus 2 displacement means l to the power of 1 is it so dimensional formula for work done so that is m1 l1 t to the power means m1 l2 sorry bases are same powers are added t to the power of minus 2 so this is the dimensional formula for <coughs> heat i can take or energy i can take or i can consider that as a work here so these physical quantity will carry same dimensional formula now let me write that dimensional formula for another physical quantity so that is latent heat so what's that physical quantity latent heat here so don't get fear about these uh, physical quantities you will learn in future classes so if i said that statement or if i given one equation just you can understand how to write the dimensional formula for those physical quantities so latent heat is nothing but it is the ratio of heat by mass here what's the dimensional formula here so dimensional means what is the formula for latent heat latent heat is nothing but it is equal to heat by mass here so heat by mass means i know the dimensional formula for heat so just now i got so m1 l to the power of 2 t to the power of minus 2 in denominator one more mass term is there so m to the power of 1 if it goes to numerator so m to the power of minus 1 so mass term will get 0 l to the power of 2 t to the power of minus 2 so this is dimensional formula for latent heat so now let me write 
dimensional formula for one more physical quantity next i will skip for next content related to dimensional formula so next we will write dimensional formula for specific heat capacity so we will write that dimensional formula for specific specific heat capacity so specific heat capacity so i will write that formula s is equal to q or h you can consider divided by m so into delta of t what is the dimensional formula for specific heat here so it is heat divided by mass into temperature in other sense i can take like this so dimensional formula for heat so that is m1 heat is nothing but it is a form of energy m1 l square t to the power of minus 2 mass term i can take it as m to the power of 1 temperature term is there so just i can take it as a k here so look at here mass term will getting cancelled out so m to the power of 0 here l square t to the power of minus 2 k if it goes to numerator so k to the power of minus 1 so this is the way to write the dimensional formula if there exists any temperature term so in second pu so we will understand about that electromagnetic theory so in case of electromagnetic theory so you can use that one more term so that is current here so now i don't bother about about that electromagnetic theory so just will uh, look after for that only first pu chapter so related to first pu chapter so maximum times you can use these terms only m l t and k here mass length time and temperature in terms of kelvin by taking use of these fundamental physical quantities we can write the dimensional formula for all derived physical quantities okay now uh, one question will get arise here so what's the use of writing the dimensional formula here so mass is repeated by one time length is repeated by two times so temperature is repeated by one time what's that exact use of those fundamental physical quantities so i said that so how many times the fundamental physical quantities are uh, repeated in the given quantity i can understand right then is it uh, only one use from writing the dimensional formula no so it has so multiple uses from the dimensional formula so let me enter into that applications of dimensional formulas so in today's session we will discuss applications of dimensional formula so it has lot of applications among those we will discuss what are the three major applications of dimensional formulas so let me start our topic with applications of applications of dimensional formula dimensional formula so we can understand what is that first use means in my view i can take this is first one so by taking use of those dimensional formula we can able to understand whether that equation is dimensionally correct or not for example in case of that motion a straight line so we derived that kinematic equation so s is equal to ut plus half at square ev square minus u square equal to 2 as or v is equal to u plus a into t or distance traveled by the object in nth second so like that so in physics we are deriving some physical quantities so let me understand whether those physical quantities are dimensionally correct or not i can able to verify it here how to verify that correctness of the equation in order to understand that correctness of the equation i can understand by that dimensional formula so remember here so by taking use of dimensional formula we can verify that correctness of the given equation what is the first use to check the to check the correctness of the to check the correctness of the equation of the equation so from the dimensional formula we can check that correctness of the equation whether the given equation is dimensionally correct or not i need to verify here so in order to verify that i need to write the dimensional formula so for example so hope you know about that centripetal force and equation for that centripetal force so f is equal to m v square by r so i will give an example so equation for 
सेंट्रीपिटल फोर्स सेंट्रीपिटल फोर्स इज सो आई विल गिव वन इक्वेशन हियर सो डोंट बॉदर हाउ दीज इक्वेशन आर डिराइव सो यू कैन डिराइव बाय द डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला ऑल्सो सो फॉर टाइम बींग सो बिलीव मी सो दिस इज करेक्ट इक्वेशन एम वी स्क्वायर बाय आर सो दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन फॉर दैट सेंट्रीपिटल फोर्स वेर एफ रिप्रजेंट्स फोर्स एम रिप्रजेंट्स मास वेर वी रिप्रजेंट्स वेलासिटी आर रिप्रजेंट्स रेडियस रेडियस इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेंथ ओनली now i can verify that whether this equation is dimensionally correct or not so how to verify that so in order to verify the correctness of the equation so if that lhs terms are equivalent to rhs term first i can write the dimensional formula for left hand side term and i can write the dimensional formula for right hand side term if that left hand side dimensional formulas are equal to that of right hand side dimensional formulas then i can say that this equation is dimensionally correct so did you get my point so i can write that dimensional formula for left hand side physical quantity so for left hand side for lhs so in left hand side which term is there force is there for lhs so which quantity is there force so directly i will write the dimensional formula for cm1 means force is nothing but what so mass into acceleration here so m1 l1 t to the power of minus 2 is it right dimensional formula for force force is equal to mass into acceleration acceleration is nothing but what velocity by time taken here so m1 l1 t to the power of minus 2 so this is for lhs so for right hand side r h yes now i can write the dimensional formula for right hand side physical quantities so what are the terms means right hand side terms i can say so dimensional formula for mass is m and velocity so velocity square is there so just i will take velocity means l1 t to the power of minus 1 so what is the dimensional formula for velocity l1 t to the power of minus 1 so here square is there so just i can write it as a square here divided by so radius means it is also in terms of length only allow me to simplify this equation so m1 as it is i can write okay so this one is l square here this one is t to the power of minus 2 and in denominator l to the power of 1 term is there so <coughs> i can take that so m v square by r so m1 l to the power of 2 here Sorry, l to the power of 2 and t to the power of minus 2. In denominator one, l term is there. I will take it into numerator. So that is l to the power of minus 1. So finally, m1 bases are same, powers are added. So l to the power of 2 into l to the power of minus 1. So what are the ba means bases? Bases are l here, powers are so 2 minus of 1. So that is 1. So another term is time. So this is the dimensional formula for right hand side terms here so left hand side term dimensional formulas are m1 l1 t to the power of minus 2 right hand side m1 l1 t to the power of minus 2 here lhs it is equal to rhs so then the given equation is dimensionally correct here so this equation is dimensionally correct you can say so listen here we are discussing about that applications of dimensional formula so first application so to check the correctness of the equation we will use the dimensional formulas so how will you use the dimensional formulas if they given any equation so first you write the dimensional formula for left hand side term so i written that for left hand side this is the dimensional formula okay now i can write that dimensional formula for right hand side terms so what are the right hand side terms m v square r m v square r so finally if i simplify i got the dimensional formula as m1 l1 t to the power of minus 2 so this is the dimensional formula for right hand side term this is the dimensional formula for left hand side both are same so lhs is equal to rhs then the given equation is dimensionally correct here so now i can write then this equation is dimensionally correct dimensionally correct so this is the way to check the 
correctness of the given equation. So let me give another examples. So I can take that another example for verifying that correctness of the equation. So s is equal to ut plus half of a into t square. So in bridge course classes, uh, we derived that equation by graphical method. Okay. So I will take use of that equation here. So listen here. I will give you one equation. S is equal to ut plus half of a into t square. Now your duty is to verify whether this equation is dimensionally correct or not. So first what I have to do? I have to write the dimensional formula for left side physical quantity means for LHS. For sorry for LH left hand side term here. So left hand side distance term is there. So there is no mass term, mass term is 0, distance means L term is 1, time term is not there. So for right hand side, for right hand side, so these are our right hand side terms. First I will take that u into t. So for u into t I will write the dimensional formula. So u means velocity, so L1 t to the power of minus 1. So here into time is there. So t to the power of 1. Bases are same, powers are added. Minus 1 plus 1. So it will cancel. So L to the power of 1 only. So mass term is 0. L to the power of 1, t to the power of 0. So I can take that another term here. So remember one thing. So dimensional formula is not applicable for numbers. So for numbers, you cannot able to write the dimensional formulas. I said that dimensional less quantities means so these are all the dimensional less physical quantities so for those physical quantities we cannot able to write the dimensional formulas so i can take only a into t square so there are certain limitations of dimensional formulas are there in future class we will discuss about that limitations so just we look at what are the applications then you can look after for the limitations so a into t square where a represents that acceleration. So what is the dimensional formula for acceleration? L1 t to the power of minus 2. t square is there. t to the power of 2 here. Look at here. Bases are same. Powers are added. t to the power of minus 2 into t to the power of plus 2. So that cancel out. So there is no mass term here. So m to the power of 0. L1. So t to the power of 0. Look at here. Left side. m0 L1 t0. In right side m0 l1 t0 m0 l1 t0 so in this case also left hand side it is equal to right hand side this equation is dimensionally correct you can say so i will give one more example hope i'm not making you bored here so just i will give one more example and if you wish i will give some assignment work even i'm happy for that some of you so also uh, all those physical quantity you send that pdf also uh, you are too much interested to learn about the things so that is what science require okay so we'll write the dimensional formula for escape velocity hope you heard that name so i don't want to explain those meanings so just i can verify whether this equation is dimensionally right or not where v represents that velocity Okay, G represents that acceleration due to gravity, R represents that radius, so that is in terms of length I can take. So for LHS, left hand side, I can write the dimensional formula. So velocity means what? There is no mass term, so M term is 0, L1, t to the power of minus 1. For right hand side, so I said, so dimensional formula is not applicable for the numbers here. Dimensional less constant. So these are all dimensional less constant here. For right hand side square root of 2gr. So for numbers you are unable to write the dimensional formula. Or you can take it as square root of g into r. Or directly you will take square root of g into r here. So g to the power of 1 by 2. So square root means 1 by 2 and r to the power of 1 by 2. So both are same. So square root is there. What's the dimensional formula for acceleration due to gravity? Acceleration and acceleration due to gravity will carry the same dimensional formula. 
L1 t to the power of minus 2 whole to the power of 1 by 2. R means also distance whole to the power of 1 by 2 here. So, L to the power of 1 by 2 t to the power of minus 2 into 1 by 2. So, 2 term will getting cancelled t to the power of minus 1 and L to the power of 1 by 2. So, hope you are understanding here. So, minus 2 into 1 by 2. So, that is minus 1. So, I return the same thing. Okay. Square root of G into R. So, for these terms, I am writing the dimensional formula. So, L to the power of 1 by 2. L to the power of 1 by 2. Bases are same. L to the power of 1 by 2 into L to the power of 1 by 2. Powers are added here. So, this one also too. So, that is L to the power of 1 here. So, L to the power of 1 by 2 into L to the power of 1 by 2. What it gives here? So, it gives that L to the power of 1 here. So, it gives that L to the power of 1. So, it is T to the power of minus 1. So, what is that left hand side? M0 L1 T to the power of minus 1. So, mass term is not there here also. M0 L1 T to the power of minus 1. So, this is the way to cross check or this is the way to verify that whether the given equation is dimensionally correct or not. So, hope you understand this session. So, we will continue with that another applications related to dimensional formulas.